Listen, check it out now. 44, burnt out. Now, man, I love Ye, but Ye is burnt out, man. Ye Pak Shakur, he's over here like karate chopping uh, 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 photographers. Now, he has an insatiable obsession with Pete Davidson. Now, granted, Pete Davidson's donkey fucking his wife, okay? Now, Pete Davidson recently, ever since, you know, Kim fought for a divorce from Kanye, he's been hanging out with Kim. I thought it was fake, but to be honest with you, kind of look a little bit real. Ever since then, Ye been on a downward spiral ever to prove to Kim that he either could do the same to get another chick, or he's basically just threatening to beat the brakes off Pete Davidson. Now, if you don't know, he's been, like, uh, roaming around with, like, a new girlfriend, and he's supposed to be trying to, like, make it seem like he's kind of getting over Kim, but he's not. He's really just trying to make her jealous, but it don't seem like she care. Now he's saying, well, if she's not going to care, let me just get at the dude that's supposedly piping her down. Now, Pete Davidson, okay, I don't particularly think he's that funny. But he's a guy from SNL. He's a comedian. He's younger than Kim, I believe. And he's been dating Kim Kardashian. Now, I give Kanye a little bit of leeway because, you know, Kim, at the end of the day, is the mother of, like, his four kids. However, on his latest song called Easy, he dropped some pathetic-ass lines basically dissing Pete Davidson for smashing his wife. Okay? Now, these were the lines right here. Okay? Rich ass kids, this ain't your mama's house. Climb on top of your brother's shoulders, get get that top ramen out. God save me from that crash just so I could beat Pete Davidson's ass, okay? And my new bitch bad, I know the Illuminati mad, okay? Now, first of all, infantile lurks, okay? Like, yo, listen, man, you got to get a better ghostwriter, all right? I hope him getting back cool with Drake, maybe Drake can start penning some bars. This shit just re re this shit reads like a diary entry. I'm sorry to say it. These are very basic bars. I only give him some type of pass because at least he's rapping about some stuff that you could understand. He's rapping about his real life. Okay? However, the line, God saved me from that crash so I could beat Pete Davidson ass, just shows you the levels that Kanye has spiraled to, man. Okay, if you can't get your girl to stop fucking that guy, you're going to hope to beat that nigga's ass to stop him from fucking her. Okay, listen, the next stage beyond this is politely begging and stepping to him as man to man like, please stop smashing my wife. Okay, that's the next step. And I think, yo, Ye's just above this, man. To keep it real, the few that we never thought that would ever happen. Okay, we get it. Kanye and Drake, they're going at it. Great, both legends, but Kanye and Pete fucking Davidson? Like, Pete Davidson not even on the realm of none of the top comedians in my book. He ain't no Patrice O'Neal, he ain't no Chris Rock, he ain't no Dave Chappelle, he not even Kevin Hart, okay? What the, listen, I don't, listen, I think DC Young fly funnier than Pete, Pete Davidson. Now, I understand that why, why that might get him mad, like, yo, this bum-ass nigga smashing my wife, but Kanye, you're a billionaire, you gotta handle it a little bit smoother. Okay, real G's move in silence and hurt niggas should do the same. Stop with these it's just desperate pleas and cries like, yo, get back with me or dissing the guy who's donkey fucking her. They might play this song while he's taking her to bed. Don't do it, yay, don't do it. We're rooting for you, brother. We're rooting for you, man, but you're going out sad right now, man. Get a comment, so you guys think about this. Kanye says God sent him from the crash to beat Pete Davis's ass. What do you think?